Hello, Harry Potter fans. Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel, where we are a community of collectors. I took a recent trip to Universal Studios in Orlando to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and did some shopping. Some of this is for myself. Some of these items are gifts for family and friends. So let's take a look at what I picked up. What do you say, Hermione? Ready to see what's in these bags? All right, let's put them down here. Put this one over here. All right, now this first item isn't Harry Potter related, so please forgive me. Oh, this, I got this. This is Harry Potter related. Now, even though I'm not a keeper, I am a seeker on a Quidditch team. I love this new line from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It's a keeper line, so I'm hoping that they come out with a beater and a chaser line as well. But this shirt is fantastic. They have it in all four houses. This is the Slytherin keeper, and this is embroidered up here. And then on the back is the number one which is the number of a keeper. I love the shirt, the color, the design, the different trims, like look at the sleeves here. Highly recommend it. And this is one of the shirts that Universal Studios can actually embroider your name on the back. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so back to that item that isn't Harry Potter, but I thought was very fun, especially for the holiday season. It's a Grinch onesie. Look at this. I thought it was super fun. The problem is I got a size too small so it doesn't fit me. So I have to send it to a friend to have it returned or exchanged. The hood is the Grinch's face. On the front it says the Grinch and then it's all green with some black trim on the arms and the feet. So I got that, just disappointed that it doesn't fit me. All right, since I pulled out this bag from that bag, I also picked up some masks. I got one for my mama. Mama Potter Collector is a Hufflepuff. And then got myself a new mask, the Slytherin mask here. Universal Studios has come out with a ton of new mask designs. They don't just have the four houses anymore. And you can purchase them online. So if you go to shop.universalorlando.com or something like that, you can actually buy a lot of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter merchandise and have it shipped to you, as well as these masks. I'm not sure if they ship worldwide, but you can check that out. All right, let's take a look at this bag. It feels very heavy. All right, what is this? It's uh, an empty bag. Oh, no, there is another Slytherin mask for a friend. So three masks picked up. This I didn't purchase, but if you spend a certain amount on merchandise, you get a free non-interactive wand or a collectible wand. Wands allow you to go around the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and cast magic spells, but Universal Studios sold collectible versions of the same wands, but they're phasing out the collectible versions. So they're offering free wands if you spend a certain amount of money on merchandise. Now this is a Death Eater wand. They had two Death Eater options, but I thought that this one was the coolest. So it's like a, a sea creature almost. It's a skull at the top with something coming out of its mouth swirling around it. It's not the dark mark. That was my initial thought because there's no snake head. It just kind of goes into the back of its skull here. And then it has like fins or gills on this side. There's some gold detailing on the, the wand shaft itself. It feels really nice in your hand. I thought it was a cool looking wand. So this is the one that I picked. I'm not sure how long that special get a wand for free deal will be going on. I'm assuming it'll be when they run out of wands. All right, let's see. We've got some more wearables here. So you saw this shirt. Here is another shirt that I've been wanting. Very simple. I mean, kind of simple, but it's a red shirt and it says platform nine and three quarters on it. Well, actually just nine and three quarters. But then on the side here, it does say platform nine and three quarters Hogwarts Express here on the sleeve. All right, I picked up two of the house crew neck sweatshirts, one of which I've already given to the new owner, which is Mama Potter Collector. I got her a Hufflepuff one, but I got this Ravenclaw one for my cousin Nicole, who you've seen before on the Potter Collector channel. She's a Ravenclaw, and when you see this video, it will have been her birthday two days ago. So got her a Ravenclaw crew neck sweatshirt. These are amazing, by the way. They are so comfortable, so warm, and they just make you feel magical. So if you go to the Wizarding World and you're like, I don't know what to get, but I want that one souvenir and I don't want a robe or a wand or something, get one of these. I love them. They have all four houses. All right, I think that's all of the wearables. All right. If you don't know, I love Christmas and the holiday season and Universal Studios has some incredible Harry Potter ornaments. What's in this bag? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we'll save that for last because that's really fun. All right, now my favorite Wizarding World of Harry Potter ornament, which I hadn't purchased until this year because they were sold out last year. Isn't that stunning? This stunning, just gold ornament with the Hogwarts logo on it. You're like, Peter, it's just a gold ornament with the Hogwarts logo. <laughs> It's so much more than that. 
When you turn it around, it reveals Hogwarts Castle, the Black Lake, and the first years crossing the lake to Hogwarts. Isn't this cool? I mean, this is my absolute favorite Wizarding World of Harry Potter ornament that I've seen. It's like pure magic. There are clouds in there, we see the moon, Hogwarts in all of its glory. The only thing that would make this better is if it was like a light up ornament and Hogwarts lit up when you plugged it into the Christmas tree or something. So I'm super excited to finally have that ornament. I'm just gonna pull ornaments out in no particular order. So here is the Hogwarts Express train ticket ornament. Platform nine and three quarters, but it's like a faux leather material, which is pretty cool. And then on the back is gold. It's like a golden ticket to Hogwarts. Nice detail on this one. For one way travel from London to Hogwarts. All right, next up is a Hogwarts letter. Here's another new ornament also in this faux leather like material, and it is Harry's Hogwarts letter. On the back of the envelope is a wax seal and the edges of the ornament and the wax seal itself are all stitched. The Slytherin crest. Now, I don't know why, but, oh no, I did get all four. I'm gonna pull all four houses out and show you them together. But before I show you those, I'm gonna show you what I thought I was looking at and what I was thinking was, I don't know why I didn't purchase the other three houses for this ornament line because I love this new ornament. This is also part of the new Keeper series. And it's like the Quidditch crest for Slytherin. So we have two broomsticks there as well as Slytherin. Beautiful green enamel and then a snake in the center. Phenomenal ornament. I'm gonna have to pick up the other three when I go back. But back to these house crest ornaments, which are so beautiful. Also just enamel. So here is Slytherin and it's on a ribbon hanger. Hufflepuff. Nicely painted silver on here. These are thick metal ornaments too. Here we have Gryffindor. And last but not least, Ravenclaw with, unfortunately, a raven in the middle as the mascot. I'm sorry, Ravenclaws. Hopefully one day ravens will just be phased out of Ravenclaw merchandise. If you don't know, the mascot, the true mascot for Ravenclaw House is an eagle. But the movie's changed it to a raven, which is unfortunate. All right, let's see. We have a Hogwarts picture frame ornament. Very nice, very simple. And then down here is a brass plate that I think Universal Studios might be able to engrave on. I mean, you could engrave it yourself, but I'm pretty sure that this is an ornament that Universal Studios can do some engraving on. So if you wanted to put like, you know, summer of 2020, or I wish I could go back to Hogwarts, but I'm stuck at home 2020, whatever you wanted to write, you can probably put that right there in this blank space. They also released a, a new line of Platform 9 and 3 quarters and Hogwarts Express ornaments. Like there are so many new ornaments from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I actually released a video recently showing every ornament that they sell. But here is the Hogwarts Express ornament and the Hogwarts crest in the center rotates, which is kind of fun. And then on the sides, it says Hogwarts Railways. All right, also with that new, I oh, love this one. So sticking with the Hogwarts Express theme, look at this thing. So the Hogwarts Express in the center, at the top it has the Hogwarts Express sign, Hogwarts Railways there. And then surrounding the ornament are train tracks. I thought this was a brilliant design. Absolutely beautiful ornament. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Ooh, we saved the best for last. Again, with that new Keeper merchandise that they released. Along with that, they released three broomstick ornaments. All three broomsticks that we know and love, the famous ones at least. So here is the fire bolt and hanging from the broom handle is a sign that says what the broomstick is. So here is the fire bolt, super cool. The Nimbus 2000, love this one and the detail on this one. And of course the Nimbus 2001. I like the silver look of this one. All three are different, all three are, are beautiful, and all three had to be in my collection. Now, since I'm a seeker, I know this ball very well, the Golden Snitch. Don't get me started on this thing. Okay, you've twisted my arm and you got me started. This is probably the most beautiful ornament that I've seen come out of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It's literally the Golden Snitch, a gold ornament, the Golden Snitch. Like, it's perfect. I mean, this little dangling charm here kind of gets in the way, but is that not stunning? I love this ornament. I don't love it as much as this ornament, but this I think is the most beautiful, this is the most clever, and my favorite. So we got the Golden Snitch, and actually we caught the Golden Snitch in the final match, which won us the final match, which won us the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup. 
and it's on this pedestal with two broomsticks crossed in front of it. On this side is the Hogwarts crest. There's a little nameplate on there. I mean, really, really nice ornament. If you hung this on a Christmas tree, it would weigh down the branch because it's that heavy. And that's it. Those are the ornaments that I added to my collection and have to still put on my Christmas tree. All right, the last bag features something. Ready? This is a Hogwarts Choir Toad puppet. It's on this super gaudy red pillow and he's just the best singing toad you've ever heard sing. I've wanted this for a while, but haven't ever pulled the trigger on it. This was the year. Universal Studios has a ton of incredible puppet plush figures. Their Hedwig puppet plush is great. This one is great. My favorite is the dragon egg, which I'm sure you've seen in past videos, but this guy is definitely up there. Then there's this, there's something else. I don't know what this is. I have absolutely no idea. Oh, oh no, did I buy two of these? I wonder why I would buy two of the same ornament. Of course I was thinking about you guys when I was purchasing all these ornaments. I am giving away this ornament on Instagram. So head over to at the Potter Collector to see how you can win my favorite ornament. You'll have one and I'll have one. I would love to hear what you guys thought about the items I picked out. Would you have purchased a different merchandise item over some of the items I purchased? I would like to know, so leave a comment down below. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram, at the Potter Collector, or on Twitter, at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?